So most of you have probably heard of an eSIM by now, but if you're anything like me, you probably put that straight into the it's too hard basket. And let's save it for a different day when we actually really need to understand what it all means. Well, today is that day because I'm going to explain to you exactly what an eSIM is and how it is going to help you in multiple ways to save money in your business. Hi there, it's Charmaine and welcome back to the Business Mobiles channel where we teach you how to use your phone to actually run your business better. And by run your business better, I mean serious hacks that actually make you profit. That's right. So hit that bell now and make sure that you never miss out on one of our weekly hacks. So today we're going to be talking about eSIMs, the latest tech word that is suddenly everywhere on billboards, in magazines, on mobile phone offers. But not a lot of people actually know what an eSIM is and what it does. Is it an eSIM because it's like an electric car that doesn't need charging? That doesn't make sense. Is that possible? No. Oh, it's called an eSIM because it's on the EE network. No. Well, I only got my eSIM working a few weeks ago and I'm really excited about the world of benefits that it's opened up to me. So I can't wait to show you exactly what it can do for you. So what actually is an eSIM? eSIM stands for embedded SIM and what that means, it's a digital SIM card embedded into your phone. You don't have to take it out. It's not a physical SIM card, but it enables you to activate a mobile phone plan directly onto the phone. Yay, no more of those little pokey things that we can never find to try to get the SIM card out. Amazing. Now the deeper layer to eSIMs is that eSIMs allow you to also have dual SIM technology. And that's really where many of the benefits lie. We're gonna go through the important differences between that in just a moment. So which mobile phones on the market today are actually enabled with eSIM technology? In other words, which ones can you use with an eSIM? Well, that would be all of the iPhones from a 10 upwards, it would be the Google Pixels from a 3 upwards, and it would be the Samsung Fold, the Samsung Flip, and the S20s. And because Motorola like to be just that little bit special, they've come out with the Razer, which has an eSIM slot, but not a physical SIM card slot like all of the others. Today, for the purposes of the demo, we're only gonna concentrate on how iPhones are enabled for eSIM technology, but the benefits will be the same whether you're using a Samsung or a Pixel. So eSIMs have been around since about 2015 when Apple launched their Apple Watches. But not all of the networks in the UK currently support eSIM. EE does support eSIMs, O2 supports eSIMs, although on a more limited range of handsets such as iPhones and Pixels. Vodafone and the 3 network haven't quite launched their eSIM technology yet, but it is in the works. So how do you actually activate your eSIM? So when you're ready to activate your eSIM, you simply call up your network of choice and you request an eSIM pack, which is usually in the form of a QR code. You simply use your phone to take a photo of the QR code and that will activate the eSIM for you. If for any reason your camera's not working, you can manually enter in an ID number. In other countries, there are downloadable apps which you can use to activate your eSIM immediately without even having to phone the network. I think this is the best way by far and I'm hoping that we'll see this in the UK in the future. How do I know which line my calls are on? Now initially, all of your contacts will be assigned to the line that you choose as your default line, but you can actually go into individual contacts and select a different line to the primary line, or you can even select the option of the last used line. If you're entering a phone number straight into the dialer, you'll be able to select which line you can call that number from in the options on screen. And for incoming calls, there's an indicator also to show you exactly which line that incoming phone call is coming in on. Now, the biggest question that we get on eSIMs is how does it actually work? Well, it's actually a lot simpler than you'd think. First of all, go to settings and mobile data. And when you've got your eSIM activated, you're gonna to wanna to label your primary and secondary numbers with something that's familiar for you. So most people might do business or personal. You can see here, I've chosen to do one UK and one US label because one of my SIM cards is a UK SIM card, the other is a US SIM card. From here, you can allocate which numbers you're going to use for calling and which numbers you're going to use for data. 
Now, interestingly, with data, you can select different profiles for each line. For example, here on my UK line, I'm allowing all the apps to use the data, but on my US line, where I have less data, I've switched off certain apps which aren't important to me. So when we talk about the benefits of an eSIM, it's really important to distinguish between the benefits that derive from being an eSIM phone and the benefits that derive from dual SIM capability. They're very different, but they kind of lead to the same thing. So let's have a look at those. So the main benefit behind an eSIM is the speed at which you can actually activate a handset onto your phone. You no longer have to wait for the network to send you out a physical SIM card. Everything can be done instantly. But what an eSIM effectively gives you is the ability to have two active SIM cards on your phone or two active talk plans. Now that gives us the dual SIM capability that we're really interested in. Let's have a look at what the benefits of dual SIM actually are. So most obviously, dual SIM gives us the ability to no longer have to carry around two phones. Carrying one phone for business and one phone for personal use is no longer necessary when you have dual SIM capability. The cost of ownership obviously then dramatically lowers when you only have to pay for one phone or one insurance plan. And also, you only really have to consider buying data on the primary SIM card rather than both SIMs. Now, a really significant benefit of dual SIM is when traveling abroad. So there are many different ways you can benefit from this. First of all, if you're traveling to Europe and your primary talk plan doesn't have a very good policy for calls in Europe, you might want to take out a secondary plan which does benefit you on cheap calls within Europe. So in other words, you have two domestic talk plans active on the same handset. Another way to achieve a big cost saving is when you travel abroad, you can buy one of those physical SIMs that you find at the airport, stick that in your phone, and then suddenly you're making and receiving calls just at local rates. And thirdly, the benefit of having eSIM is that you can actually research the country before you travel, find the network, download the app, or simply ask for an ID, and you can activate your eSIM before you've even gotten on the plane. And finally, if you travel around the UK a lot, you're going to be used to poor coverage issues in certain areas. Now, with a dual SIM capability, you can have two SIMs active on different networks and make sure that you're always in range. Beware that you still have to have the iPhone unlocked if the second number is from a different network and that's whether it's an eSIM or a physical card. Now, wherever there's a pro, there's always a con. One thing that I think people are gonna struggle with a little bit with eSIMs is it's no longer that mentality of storing your contacts on your SIM card. Now that eSIM doesn't really store anything, it can be wiped very quickly. You're going to really have to store your contacts in your phone. And if you damage your phone, it's no longer a simple case of transferring your physical SIM card from the damaged phone to a new phone. You're now going to have to call up the network to activate the eSIM on the new phone. It doesn't take long, but it's a little bit more of a hassle in some people's minds. So we've covered savings on not having to have two phones any longer, and we've covered savings on making international calls abroad. And the one last thing that I really want to point out is that having a dual SIM capability gives us as a dealer, businessmobiles.com, the ability to really play with your tariffs to get you exactly the tariff setup that you want. So one example of this is a recent customer who came to us and wanted 100 gig of data, but also wanted a specific talk plan that enabled him to have international direct dialing rates at the cost that he wanted. Now, that particular plan didn't come with 100 gigs, so what we did is we gave him two SIM cards, and one SIM card had the international direct dialing rates and 40 gig, and the second SIM card had some different rates with a 60 gig of data usage. So all in all, he got exactly what he wanted at the lowest possible price combination. Well, hopefully you're all experts in eSIMs by now. If you want to get an eSIM working on your phone, simply follow the link in the description below, and that'll take you through to some more details on how exactly you can get that going. Now we don't sell apps, even though I talk about them a lot, but we do sell eSIMs. So this is something that we happen to know a lot about. So definitely follow that link, speak to one of our representatives and they will go through even more detail than I have with you. Remember to hit the subscribe bell and join me next time to see exactly what I have in store for you.